Sure, chance up here on the wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me about the old gentleman that came and looked at it. I was standing here at the counter, and an older gentleman came in, and he's staring at the picture, and he's staring, and he asked me what it was. And I told him it was cheap on my champagne. And he went on to tell me that he had never told a soul this, and he was in his 80s. He said, I think he said he was 89 or 87. And he told me about when he was a young man, and he went fishing with his grandfather up in Lake Champlain, up by uh, the Bulaga Bay, um, that area, up by Tide. He, he grew up on the lake? Yeah, he grew up on the lake. Okay. And he told me of a time that he and his grandfather were out fishing, and this monstrous big thing, he said, came out of the water. And his grandfather told him that it was champ, and that he wasn't to tell anybody due to the fact that he would think, think that they were insane. Mm -hmm. And so he, all those years, he never told a soul about it. Was, I was the first person he told, and he said to me, I was not insane, my grandfather was not insane. We saw a living, breathing dance. Right. And I was like, hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> yes. More and more testimony. Yes, absolutely. Now, other people, mm -hmm. other people have seen it and they come to you and say, hey, yes. you know. Yes, and, and I, I, I appreciate that because it gives me vindication. You know? right. I'm not crazy. I'm not free bad now. This is what I saw. This is what they saw. And we all saw something. And what? Someday maybe the lake will give up her secret. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Let's not kill it. Don't kill it. No, great. Well, thank you so much. You got customers here. We better let you go. giant squid of the species Archituthus ducks. It came ashore on November the 22nd, 1979 in St. Brendan's on Collier's Island in Bonavista Bay, Newfoundland. It's an immature female. It is a small female, but it is a giant squid. I believe the giant squid reached an approximate maximum size of something like 150 feet. If this is 20 feet long, uh, well then um, it's uh, almost uh, eight times longer than this in overall length, and that's a big squid. In 1976, just 30 miles off the Lizard in Cornwall, two fishermen, George Vinicom and John Cox, also met a monster. Well, at one steaming 30 miles off, 25 to 30 miles off, saw what I thought was an upturned boat on the, on the horizon. 
So we went over to investigate. When we got closer, we could see it wasn't an upturned boat. It was something that, well, neither of us had seen before. So it was dark in color. And had sort of humps on the back. I should say it was, well, between 15 and 18 feet in length. And rising above the sea about three feet. It was a flat, calm day. There was no disturbance in, on the sea at all. When we got up closer, well, a little closer, I came astern, to our amazement, up out the water about three feet from this body, head, arrived, head appeared out the water. And it was a, well, thing I've never seen before after about 40 years at sea. And it gradually sank in the water and disappeared. But after talking about it, the only thing we could explain it was, a, was one of, very much like a prehistoric animal. Good morning and welcome to Obi's Open Line program. I do believe that's what's going on in here this morning. Teresa, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. We're talking about the Ogopogo uh, today. A lot of people in the, the area have seen it. The legend goes on for many years, and we'll be talking to some experts. I believe we've got Arlene Gall coming in. Arlene wrote a book on it. That's right. But we're going to go to the phone lines right now. Line two, good morning. Hello there. Mr. Puglis. Yes, go yes, ahead, sir. Yes. Uh, you want to know about Ogopogo? I certainly do. Yeah, okay. I had a taxi, and I uh, took a passenger to the hospital, and uh, and then they, I was coming down uh, Abbott Street. And I got far as uh, about here. I looked at the lake. I was surprised. I seen this thing come out of the water. Well, it's like a like a horse's head with the kind of horns on it. Oh, he was huge, you know, standing up there. Oh my, just like a you know, like a big serpent. Then another fellow come behind me and he says, "What are you looking at?" He says, "I just see no gopogo over there." And uh, he says, where, where? Over there, he says. I, I had the door open the car and uh, stepped out just a little bit and uh, he slipped back in the water, see? And he says, gee, look at the big uh, big waves there. And all we can see is uh, big waves going down there to Fred's place where he had the boat boat rental. And they disappeared, see? And, uh, and then I got all excited. I got in the car and I pulled to the willow end and I told the people, I says, uh, they were having breakfast. I just seen Ogopogo. And they says, what the heck you been drinking, eh? Line four, go ahead, please. Hello, John. How are you? I'm not too bad. Good. Are you going to give me your name? No, I'm not. Okay. Tell I me saw, about the... I saw Ogopogo off of Sarsons about four years ago. Okay, you don't want to give your name on the air. No, I don't. Uh, you've told some people, obviously. Uh, yes. Are you afraid that they might think you're a little bit of a... Well, I had some strange phone calls. and uh, I get them every day. That's what they pay me for. <laughs> well, I don't get paid for them, so I don't really <laughs> want, to, want any more, thank you. We were up on the beach having a picnic, and my daughter was on the swings when I saw this creature underneath the wharf there. And when I turned around and saw it and realized that it was the legendary Ogopogo. I just freaked out. I just ran, I grabbed the baby and ran down to the beach and she I guess I yelled over and over, that's him. She was screaming like anything. She just couldn't believe it. Her face was red. And, uh, it was fishing or whatever it was doing and it was there for quite some time. Then it straightened out and went along those poles and as it traveled along, it just the three humps were showing, and they were from one of those end of those poles to the other in the space. The three humps were. It traveled along the beach till about the corner over there, and then it turned and went straight across the lake. 